back. Welcome to day six of Leap to Lead. I'm so excited, guys. We've almost made it through an entire week. So today I just wanted to kind of talk to you about one of my hobbies. So I have this fun thing that I like to do. I actually pretend like I'm crafty. I'm really not, but I enjoy it. So if somebody sets it up for me, I really love to do it. Half the time I'm a little bit too much of a perfectionist. I like things to be just so. So it makes it a little difficult for me. But once I get going, I really enjoy it. And I'm sure all of you have hobbies that you like to do too. So I like to go to Michael's or I go to Hobby Lobby because we have one close to me and I just buy some blank note cards and I love to send love mail or you know fun mail to my team. And so I just go buy some blank cards and I like to make them myself instead of have somebody else make them. So I'll buy some stamps like this one that says every possibility begins with the courage to imagine and then I will add another one. I mean this one says you're kind of a big deal or I have sending you a great big hug, whatever I feel like doing that day and then I just take a piece of washi tape or put it across the top. It's super fun and then I write them a quick little note and it means a lot to my team sometimes when they get something like this from me. Um, another cool little trick that I recently learned is if you take your little so you just buy ink pads, super, get them when they're on sale, and if you take your ink pad and you just do the edges kind of like that, wait till you see what it does, it just kind of edges it and it makes it, gives it a little more of a professional look. I probably could have picked a different color, but that's okay. It actually kind of matches. So just by edging it, look at the difference. It made it just look a little, a little neater. So I'll write my little love note to my person and tell them that they're kind of a big deal and remind them that with every possibility begins with the courage to imagine. Courage, there's that word again, guys. Courage, not confidence, because you don't need any confidence for this business. You need courage to step outside of the box and do things that make you feel uncomfortable. So again, this, this little hobby that I have of making my own little homemade cards with stamps, there's no quota. There's no stress. It's very stress-free. I can pick it up. Nobody needs it. It's not that important. So I save it for when I have a few extra minutes, some spare time, and I want to I do something that's an outlet for me. So I just kind of wanted to compare that to your Sensi business. So many people choose Sensi to be a hobby and to kind of do it when they have some spare time. There's no quota, there's no stress, and that's okay. But for those of you who want to leap to lead, those of you who want to big build big successful businesses, you can't treat Sensi as a hobby. You have to treat it like a business. So when you have a business, you need goals and you need to follow your goals. You need to write them down. You need to know what your goals are. Um, with with Sensi, I'm trying to think of how I can how I can compare this for you. Um, you by seeing those goals, you have got to really work on. Um, okay, I've totally lost my train of thought, and I usually would go back and hit start over with this video because. Whew, but you know what? I'm not perfect, and you guys aren't either. Nobody's perfect, so I'm gonna regather my thoughts. I'm gonna look at my notes here. What did I want to say? Um, so okay with your Sensi business. You want to make money. You don't want to spend your money. So you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money. This is one thing that I really tell people is you don't want to spend your money on building your business if you don't have it to spend. You want to be really careful with that. One really cool piece of advice that I got in the beginning of my Sensi business from my sponsor, Becca Levi, was take 20% of your check and put it back into your business. So I would take that 20% and I would buy things like income producing activity items like um, new, a set of mini testers, another set of mini testers, um, some more labels, things that were really, really important to my Sensi business. Um, by now going back to your why, because now I'm remembering where I was, um, by having your goals written down and your why written down, that gives you a reason to sacrifice. So when Netflix is calling your name, then you're like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna work a little, a few extra minutes. Instead of watching that next episode tonight, I'm gonna sit down and make some phone calls and I'm gonna book some parties because that's what's gonna build my business. Um, I'm gonna take a little time off of my hobby, even though it's important to have hobbies, and I'm gonna not 
do any stamping tonight and preparing cards. Instead, I'm going to spend a little extra time on my business. So remembering that this is a business, not a hobby. You have to have goals. You have to know your why because remember your why is what's going to drive you and your goals are so important because they are they what give you that tangible at the end of the road. Okay, when I do this, when I have done this, I've accomplished something big. So I want you to go back to your whys. So remember when you wrote your why down in your notebooks? Some of you may have just said, I want more money. I want you to actually think about what you would like more money for. Maybe it's to buy a, a container of stamps so that you can do that because you enjoy it. Or maybe it's a Cricut. I don't know if you guys know what a Cricut is, but I bought one. It's still in the box. See, I told you I love to do this crafting stuff, but you hand me a machine like a Cricut. I have no idea where to even start, so I need to like take a Cricut class. Maybe that needs to be one of my new goals is to hop on an airplane, go somewhere really warm and tropical where there's a Cricut convention and learn how to work, use my Cricut more. So, but again, let's get more realistic. Maybe it's because you want to give a little more toward the car payment, or you want to put a little extra in for your family vacation. You want to be able to, to deposit a little more into that account so that your family vacation can be a little more special. Maybe you'll go out to lunch instead of making bologna sandwiches one day. You know, it's the little things that make us happy. Maybe it's the music lessons that you want to get for your children. Maybe they are getting a 30 minute lesson. You'd really like to bump it up to an hour each week or whatever works for you. Braces, maybe you've been contributing $50 a month toward the braces with your Sensi business and you'd like to put in a hundred, maybe 200, whatever it is. I want you guys to know exactly what your goal is. So go back to your why. And if you said, I want to make more money to spend time with my child, I want you to write something exact. Like what is it that you want to do with your child? What would really make your heart flutter to do with your significant other or your child or whatever a goal may be? Okay, so you're going to write down your a goal, I mean a, a tangible idea, a, a, an amount, sorry that's what I meant, you're going to write down an amount next to your why, I know I'm confusing you because my brain is all over the place, which happens to me all the time, I'm sorry, hopefully you're following me, and I'm hoping that this is something that you're going to add to your next paycheck, so it's soon, it's not far away, you don't have a lot of time to make a little extra to add it to your paycheck to be able to give that extra $50 to wherever it was that you want to give, so if you're used to getting a $200 paycheck, I want you to really Really concentrate on making it 250 or 300 or 400 or whatever whatever it is that you really want whether you think you can or can't you're absolutely right so make it something that's gonna drive you something that is achievable and again write it next to your why so I want you to be able to go back in a few years when things are really rocking and look at this leap to lead notebook and say, oh my gosh, remember? I remember when I only wanted 50 extra dollars because I wanted to be able to give an extra $50 toward the car payment this month or whatever it was, but I want you to be really proud. Again, I want your why to be clear. I want you to have these little goals or whys of things that make you work a want to work a little harder and skip that next TV show. So anyway, this is a business. I want you guys to really get into the habit of treating it like a business. We don't want Sensi to be your hobby. If you want Sensi to be your hobby, that's fine. And we love you just as much, but this might not be the right class for you. You might not want to be in a class. But those of you who are looking to grow your businesses, you see that we want this to be a business and not a hobby. So think about that this week. Think about Sensi being a business and not a hobby as you leap to lead.